Hello everyone, in this episode we will consider the login section for the get stream. As I said in the previous videos, I will not consider the sign in section for the Firebase, I mean phone number sign in qubit section. So because of that we will skip this part and we will consider the get stream section. And for this we need to start with the domain folder because first we need to decide which functions will we have. First, let's start with chat failure. So, for an example, I just created a server error. But if you want to extend, of course you can, as always. Is the out one, out failure, for example, here we have a lot of errors. We also have the same things in the chat failure section. And apart from that, we have model, chat user model, and it has created at user role and is user band properties and we use these informations this state in profile here it is created at role band status is user band or let's say so the last thing is the chat service and in the chat service abstract class we have some functions or getters let's say so the definitions of course we just define the functions or getters in here then we will implement them in the infrastructure folder so let's decide what we'll have for the function section for example we may need listen the out state changes because we need to consider if we log in or not, if we connect or disconnect to the get stream. And apart from that, we need to connect and disconnect. As soon I will explain this part. Let's skip for now. So we may need to create a new channel, but of course this is a feature. If you don't want to create a new channel, but I think you have to create because we created a chat application. Then we have to define a new function which name is a create new channel. But of course, for example, it can be a group or one to one chat, which means the personal chats. And send photo as message to the selected user. We have what is it for? So in our application, we have the camera section and after we captured one image, we can send the related chats. But I looked the GetStream documentation, actually we sent a message, a message with the selected attachment actually. And the attachment is the related image. So it seems we sent an image, but actually we don't, we sent a message which contains attachments. So for the domain section, it's okay. It's enough to show there are no any things. So let's close. By the way, I didn't explain the free sections because I have already explained all of them in my previous videos. I mean, in my other series. So let's go to the infrastructure folder and the chat section here it is we have get stream chat service to log in or log out i mean the connectivity in our application for the get stream is related to one getter which name is chat out state changes so with the stream chat clients we have state and we have also current user stream in our state and we just listen our stream we map it and if user is null which is actually own user or let's say current user if it is null then we can understand that the user has not signed in but if the user is not null if the user is different than null then we can understand the user has logged in and he or she whatever is chatting right now so of course we cannot know the he is or she is chatting or not but anyway so if it is not null then we return the user.to domain 
and to domain is actually a helper function and it is the same as the out one in the core section we have get stream helpers and here we have the to domain function which is a helper actually we just created an extension for our own user and we created a function which name is to domain so let's go back and for the chat out state change that's okay and there are two other things for this video connect and disconnect user so disconnect user is the same as the firebase dot sign out because we just disconnect from the web sockets of second connection so for the connect section here first we need to uh, get our user which is coming from the our firebase because as you know we need some informations like user id so after we fold we get signed user and with the signed user variable we can access the id username photo url and other things so with stream chat clients we have connect user methods and it wants us to user and token which is actually dev token and user is actually our user our id our username and our means of course the current user and dev token is coming from the our secret start dot file here for example for the elon this is the dev token for the mark this is the dev token so the connect section is like this for the create new channel or send photo as message to the selected user will be in the other videos now the infrastructure folder has done has completed so it's time to go to the application section and chat so we have chat setup and chat management sections chat setup is related for us for this video and we have state the state has the chat user as the out one websocket connection status and it is not related for us but i just created for you you may use actually but if you don't want to use of course you can delete it but i just created for an example for you is user checked from chat service is the out one and no more for the state section and for the qubit section as i said we have the same logic as the out one in again actually because um, we have stream subscription to listen our changes and update the state simultaneously and close the subscription with the close method function ignore the from json and to json sections because of the these methods are related to local storage and the local storage is a different subject so we have no lots of things in this file we may look at the chat management section but the chat management section is related to other pages so as you know in this video i just want to show you to connection of the get stream and the chat management will be in other videos so out section is more important than the chat management section because uh, in the out setup as i said in the beginning of the video we need to disconnect and we need to connect the user when we change the authentication state so don't forget to add these lines of code to here because in the phone number sign in project there are no codes like this since we have no get stream service so yeah that's it actually for this video i don't show the presentation section because for example if we want to sign out from the profile section let's go to profile and widgets profile core profile profile button and after that we just want to signing out and when we tap the button we say sign out i mean the call the sign out method 
and the sign out method is actually both sign out from the firebase and disconnect from the get stream i mean the sign out means sign out from both so for this video it's enough thanks for watching don't forget to support me don't forget to subscribe to my channel please like the video and share with the other developers see you later